Today we're going to be talking about the release of Angular version 7. Every time a new release of Angular comes out, there's a couple of sites you're going to want to take a look at. The first one is the Angular change log, and that lists features and changes from the point of view of the framework developers. Then for a look at changes from the point of view of uh, an application developer, you can take a look at the corresponding release announcement, which will appear on the um, Angular blog. Angular 7 was released on October 18, 2018. It included the simultaneous release of the Angular framework itself, Angular CLI, which is the command line interface that allows you to create new projects and to create um, new uh, components and services and things like that, and Angular Material, which is a component library that implements material design. The other thing you should know is that Angular CLI is now documented on the Angular I.O. site. So you can go to Angular I.O., do a search there, and find all the Angular CLI commands documented. This version of Angular is um, compatible with TypeScript 3.1 and RxJS 6.3. So those are changes from the previous version. And Angular 7 works with Node 8, which it did in the previous version, but also now works with Node 10, if that happens to be the version of Node in your development environment. To update to Angular 7, you want to first start by updating Angular CLI. You can use this command to do that. Um, if you already have a version of Angular CLI installed, though, you want to uninstall that first and then run this command. Once you have Angular CLI installed, you can create new Angular 7 projects using uh, ng new and then the name of your project. Of course, if you have existing projects that may be in a previous version, like version 6, you'll need to update those project directories, and you can use the uh, Angular CLI ng update command to do that. Some additional videos that we're going to provide uh, for Angular 7 include updating projects to Angular 7. So that's going to be a code-centric um, video where we just go through um, from the command prompt updating a project. CLI prompts where we also do, do the same thing, go to a command prompt and run some CLI commands and show you where prompts come up so you can see what to expect. And then bundle budgets, which is this feature that allows you to keep an eye on how large your application is getting. So you can set a budget uh, for the size of your application, and if it goes over that budget, then uh, error messages will be produced, which will allow you to uh, go back and make changes. Thanks for tuning in. We are WebAge Solutions. We offer on-site and virtual training on Angular and other topics. You can find us at webagesolutions.com.